everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 7 of Boku no Hero Academia Season 2. And this episode was very interesting because we got to see what this Shinso's guy quirk is, and it was, well, brainwashing or mind control. And I was like, oh! Okay, so he, uh, yeah, it has to be, an like, someone answers his question, and then boom, he can brainwash them. So, and control them. So, uh, what he told Deku to do was, you know, walk out, just calmly walk out of the, uh, ring and, uh, lose. And, uh, I was like, well, <laughs> this is not good. And, uh, Deku does do that, almost, but then he sees this vision of past users of One for All, and for some reason that got him out of it, and he won, basically, after that, Deku was like, alright, throw him out, and like, he just <laughs> threw him out of the ring, and I was like, well, alright, then that, uh, that uh, happened, and Shinzo's little backstory is people kind of thought of him as a little bit of a villain because he, you know, can control people, and, uh, you know, he was like, oh man, you know, I want to be a hero, though, because, uh, I want to prove people wrong, um, and I, and I was like, okay, okay, okay. And uh, when he, you know, was walking out of the ring, or walking out, or whatever, you know, the, his teammates or classmates, whatever, were like, hey, listen to the heroes, though. And the heroes were like, oh, that could be useful against villains and stuff. And so basically, he has a chance. Uh, and I'm like, well, that's good, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> when he was talking to Deku, he was like, I will become a greater hero than you guys. And Deku answered, like, twice and got brainwashed twice. <laughs> It's funny, even though he knew. It would, yeah, I just thought that scene was funny, but um, yeah, that that part was interesting. Uh, and then we had uh, well, Todoroki versus a uh, tape guy. I don't, I don't know what his name was. It was Hantai, Hante, whatever. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting, uh, quick as heck battle because previously Todoroki ran to his father, and uh, his father basically made him very, very angry. Todoroki was not a happy person, and uh, he took that out on a little bit on uh, the guy, and uh, basically uh, made this huge um, <laughs> ice thing. I don't know. It was like, oh wow, Todoroki ended that fight like that. It was so quick. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. And he told him he was sorry and melted it with the uh, firepower that he's got, so it was fine. But I was just like, wow, all right then. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's one way to end the fight, I guess. Um, but yeah, the whole one for all Deku seeing a vision of past users of that, that was weird. I was like, okay... Why? And All Might was also seen in those little shadowy figures, and apparently Deku can't interfere with them, they can't interfere with him, but whatever, and All Might's seen it before, and I'm just like, that that's weird, why? Like, w w what is that about? I don't understand that. It's, it's just really weird, okay? Um, what's with the supernatural beings coming into my book, you know, here at Academia? Like, I'm like, what, what, why? What, why is that happening? Why is All Might there? I don't know! It's like, oh, weird questions. But, uh, overall, this is a very interesting episode. Very, uh, the, the finals, you know, one-on-one -on -one battles. And next episode, looks like we're getting a lot of them. So it's like, oh boy. But the one I'm most excited for is Uradoka uh, versus uh, Bakugo. Because that's gonna, I feel like that's gonna be a really good fight. I'm just like, oh, that's gonna be interesting. Because, yeah. Um, <laughs> though it's still Bakugo's gonna win it. There's no way he's not going to win it. Um, but it's still, you know, it's gonna be interesting, I'm sure. And in the preview, she looked kind of terrified. She was like, ah, like I get it. you know, I was like, oh boy, she, I would be scared too. <laughs> so overall, pretty interesting episode. Um, favorite part though is definitely Todoroki's just quick as heck battle. Oh, it's great though. But uh, we'll have to see what happens next episode with everybody else's individual one-on-one -on -one battles and everything. And see how those turn out. See who's moving on and who's going to not. So we'll have to see. So what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen next? Do you think Uraka is going to win? She's not because it's Bakugo. She's going up against Bakugo. Think about it. But anyway, uh, I will see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!